Hello coffee friends, I am Tom from Tom's Coffee Corner and I wanted to talk to you today about five factors to guarantee getting a nice crema on your espresso. So if this kind of uh, topic interests you, please give me a like to push this video upwards and um, subscribe to the channel if you'd like to get tips as such. So let's get right on into it. The first most important factor when you want to get a nice crema on your espresso has to do with having fresh beans. And when I say fresh beans, I mean also fresh whole beans like these here. If you have beans that are already ground, then some of the freshness has already been lost due to oxidation. So just like if you are putting fresh cracked pepper on your food, or if you are using freshly grated cinnamon in a recipe, you want to be the one to grind your fresh coffee beans. So I would recommend beans anywhere between two and six weeks old as far as the roast date goes. This is the number one most important factor. You need fresh beans. The second factor that's really important is grind size. So when you get a grinder that grinds well for espresso, you need to dial that in. That means that the grind shouldn't be too rough and it shouldn't be too fine. It should feel kind of like fine on your fingers. So this process of dialing in your grinder to get a good crema, it's a relatively easy trial and error process. Start fine so that it feels kind of like a powder. And when you put in enough into the basket to fill up the basket, whether that's a 14 or a 16 gram basket, you want that to run out and fill up twice that amount. So if your basket fills 14 grams, of espresso powder, you're looking to get 28 grams out of there in about 25 seconds. That's the ratio, two to one in about 25 to 30 seconds. So if it's taking longer than that, then you need to back off on the grind and make it a little bit less fine. And if on the other hand, you are already getting your entire volume within 10 or 15 seconds, you got to grind finer. So that is factor number two, your grind size. Factor number three is having a good basket. So I brought two baskets. This is a pressurized basket. It's what comes with the DeLonghi. And you need to use this differently than a ordinary basket. So with the ordinary basket, everything that I'm talking about right now applies to using this ordinary basket because the grind size and the tamping pressure is what determines the resistance that the water is going to have to deal with when going through the coffee puck. If, on the other hand, you use these, you're pretty much guaranteed a crema either way, whether you have old beans or not, whether you have just the right grind size or not, because you'll see all the holes that are in here. The espresso has to make its way through there and through this one small hole on the bottom that creates additional pressure which means this additional artificial pressure is going to give you crema. But we're talking about this because this gives you better flavor. This gives you a better optical view of how your espresso extraction is. You can watch and see how did I tamp, how is my grind size, and it's just nice to watch coming out. So that is factor number three, a good basket. This one I got from Amazon and I will put a link in the description below. It works very well for me. The fourth thing that most people don't talk about when it comes to making a good espresso and having a nice texture to the espresso and to the crema has to do with the water. So if you have extremely hard water, you might not get the optimal espresso. I have very hard water where I live and so I use a Brita filter and filter it out first before putting it in my coffee machine. That serves two purposes. One, it makes the flavor and the texture better. And the second thing is, is it extends the life on the espresso machine. All right guys, there is one more thing that I wanted to mention while I'm thinking about it and that is there are two different types of beans. There's Arabic beans and there's Robusta beans. and the Robusta beans generally provide better crema than do the Arabica beans. 
So normally what you're going to see at your roastery are either 100% Arabica or a blend of 80% Arabica and 20% Robusta. So if you go for that blend that has more Robusta, you will likely have more Crema as well. This is something that a lot of people when they're first starting out in espresso don't realize is that whatever you get from the supermarket, it might already be too old. The older the bean, the less fresh it is obviously, and then it's quite difficult to get a nice crema. I like to buy Lavazza beans because I know exactly how old they are based on the packaging date. So here, this was packaged on the 30th of July, 2021. I know that because the expiration date is 2023, which means I subtract two years from that and I know, okay, we've got the middle of October right now. This bag is 10 weeks old. That's a bit too old to expect to get a nice crema. This bag on the other hand that I've been using is from the end of August, which means this is six weeks old and I can still expect to get a good crema from this. Sometimes I can get this for quite a reasonable price. And if not, then I go to my second option and I go to a local roastery. I have to pay anywhere between 20 and 25 euros for a kilo, but that way you are pretty much guaranteed a fresh bean and you're guaranteed to get crema. The fifth thing that you can do if you really want to step up your espresso game is you can get a, an espresso machine with a PID that is a control loop so that you always know what the temperature is going to be. As you are pulling the shot, the temperature is going to fluctuate a bit. And a machine with a PID heats the water back up as you're pulling the espresso, tries to keep it at a constant level. And this can also help you to reach a better extraction to get more flavors out of your espresso. And that is one thing that you can do to up your game even further, but it's not really necessary for getting a good crema. The most important factors in my experience have always been fresh beans and the right grind size. I hope that this answers some people's questions and I really do appreciate you writing into the comments below this video I made spontaneously to answer somebody's question. So thank you very much for that. Hemi Anna, I do appreciate the question. Happy coffee drinking or espresso drinking and I'll see you next time on Tom's Coffee Corner.